Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome to Steel Rising. That's right, the new Souls-like action RPG by developer Spiders, uh, and they were kind enough to actually send me a copy early so I could bring it to you just a day before release and let you know what I'm thinking. So yes, this is a new series, Hollow Knight will continue, but this will now be running at the 8 a.m. time slot and Hollow Knight will be at 10 a.m. Uh, for as long as I can muster without getting burned out. So I don't know much about this game other than it does seem to be set uh, in Victorian era France, I believe. Uh, they are a French developer, so that makes sense. Uh, if you're not familiar with Spiders, they made Greedfall. I think they have Greedfall 2 coming out. They also made Bound by Flame, which came out in 2014, which has sat in my Steam list for... Well, actually, got it on the day it came out, and I <laughs> have never shared it with you all, and I've only played a little bit. So, you know, their games have a little bit of jank to them, but there definitely seems to be a following that is rather fond of what they do, and hopefully we can continue on that tradition here with Steel Rising. You actually play as some sort of doll or marionette i guess maybe not marionette um kind of like an animatronic and uh, i did test it out just to make sure the game was working doesn't seem to be 100 percent optimized maybe a day one patch will fix some of the issues that i've run into but let's dive right in so first things first i think this is super cool an assist mode when you actually go to enable this it says although steel rising was designed to be a demanding game in standard mode assist mode will allow players to experience the game while tailoring the challenge to suit their own preferences and abilities please note however that by activating this mode some difficulty related achievements will not be unlockable you will have to start a new game in standard mode if you wish to obtain them uh, a little bit disappointed that they lock certain achievements behind you know standard mode but you know I can get around that. I, I, I can be okay with that. I think assist mode is pretty, pretty cool. I'm not going to play with it on, but I want to show you the different options that it allows. There's actually a percentage damage reduction. You can actually reduce all damage. So we've had this discussion on Twitter and Reddit and in every community since a ton of time, pretty much. Should difficult, challenging games like Souls Likes have in easy mode or have difficulty options. I have always argued that it is something that can only benefit the game itself to reach a wider audience. Is it necessary? I believe it's up to the developers and especially if their vision includes it, great. If not, I can understand that and live with that. But something like this, for players who just want to experience a game, maybe see the story, you could essentially turn on God mode, which I think is super, super cool. Uh, keep anima essence after death. So the currency here, the XP, if you will, is Anima Essence. You can either drop it on death or not. The Endurance Regeneration Speed. So you can actually get a lot more of your, basically your stamina regeneration if you want. And then Easy Cooling. A cooling cooling is a system that we will uh, see once we're in the game. Being animatronic, you actually have to kind of watch your own cooling. Uh, again, I'm not going to play with this mode on, but I am super stoked to see this implemented in a way that, like it said, you can tailor it to your own experience. Maybe you are a Souls-like veteran and you've played all the games, and but maybe you just want to play this a bit more casually. Okay, take 50% damage reduction, right? Or maybe you don't drop your Anima Essence at death. I think it's awesome. I am a big fan. I'd love to see this incorporated in more games up and coming. You know, actually, I think I'm in no mood for games right now. How much longer are we to be kept here? Or we just simply watch as Paris burns from afar? The rabble are rioting. This is the price to be paid for spoiling the masses. You don't understand, Gabrielle. The king sent us here long before the city went up in flames. He knew what was about to transpire. I think he is somehow involved in these events. Oh, come now, Marie. True, he can be misguided and somewhat short-tempered at times, but he's no Nero. Then why have we been given no news for so long? Place on for Gabrielle. The children. They'll soon be out of harm's way. I am most certain of it. Monsieur Clary will take good care of them. For now, at least we are safe. 
Safe, Vremont. Where are the Chateau Guards? We are still protected. The King just preferred to use a different sort of guard. Guards or jailers? They won't even let us leave this room, Gabrielle. The King? He has lost his mind to grief. First our darling Sophie, then our beloved son. My poor sweet angel. They didn't let me say goodbye. I wasn't even allowed to see him. C'est vrai. Something inside me is, is crying out, telling me he's still of this world at, at times. I think I hear him calling to me. I'm so afraid. What do you fear, my queen? Everything. Everything horrifies me. The king's wrath. His army of indefatigable automats that Monsieur de Vaucanson has built for him. The charlatans who advise him, who are now more powerful than ministers. What happened to my son? What will happen to the children that God has deigned to leave in my care? I won't let any harm come to them. This I promise you. But how? Do you not see that we're prisoners here? All is not lost. You forget about the one automat that is not hostile to us. This new bodyguard of yours. And then suddenly we're just thrust into character creation because we are this bodyguard. Now, I'm not a historian. In fact, history is probably my uh, least successful uh, course of study in high school and college. But I know a little bit. And mostly because I was just reading things during that cutscene. So Marie Antoinette, the last queen of France in the mid to late 1700s, uh, unfortunately, she was actually put to death via guillotine publicly uh, after the monarchy was abolished by revolutionaries. And I think it was 1793, her, her son that she's referring to, I'm not going to go into it here, read about it if you wish, but it's rather unfortunate what happened to the son and what he was actually forced to... Uh, well, claimed that his mother was guilty of, so she was actually put to death through treason. Then her friend Gabriella here, a Duchess of, I'm not, not going to say any of this correct, Pol Polignac, 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 probably Polignac or something like that. Uh, just a, a good close friend of Marie Antoinette. So, uh, very basic character creation. We are going to play as Aegis, uh, and it is only a female animatronic from what I can tell. Uh, you can customize the kind of the body, what it's actually made of, the material. Of course, you have some some hairstyles here. You can turn that around. Nothing too crazy. Kind of like that. I like the braid. Yeah, I like the braid. And then just some some of the uh, the skin color of the face here, and as well as actually customizing the face a little. I, I like that. I like that standard one. Okay, and then we have classes. Your starting class: bodyguard, uh, soldier, dancer, and alchemist. This will, uh, it'll warrant your starting stats and your starting weapon and kind of your uh, your first consumable. You can see here the bodyguard. By the way, again, I'm going to butcher a lot of names. I've never taken French in my life. Any French speakers out there, I apologize in advance. But anyway, uh, so the bodyguard, the body of work, it's a heavy weapon. Looks like a hammer class weapon. Special move is block. Also comes with petrification grenade, which can temporarily immobilize enemy. Immobilization is essentially just a stun. Then we have uh, durability, so plus three to durability, plus two to engineering, and if you actually hit X, you can see, oh boy, <laughs> it gets busy in a hurry. This reminds me a lot of Code Vein's status screens, and that was always very overwhelming to me. So this is gonna take a moment to really get into. Also, unlike in some other games, there's no tool tips. There's nothing I can just go in and highlight any of these to tell me exactly what it is they do. Most of them are pretty self-explanatory. But you can see the bodyguard's going to start with durability. It's going to start with engineering. The durability and engineering, because that's my attributes on the left, those are influencing my health, my loot multiplication or multiplicative factor. Multiplier is probably the word I'm looking for, so more loot drops. Then it changes my affliction multiplier, so if I'm going to actually afflict an enemy with fire, cold, whatnot. Uh, and then some of my defenses, right? Okay. Then we go down to Soldier. Soldier starts with the, and this is where I'm gonna butcher this, Gibravul Halberd. So it, it's a halberd, which looks really, really cool. It does look like it has some sort of flame attack and explosive grenade. Oh, and that actually has, 
a range attack as its special. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then it has explosive grenades, which can, which can knock an enemy over. You can see there that it starts with an increase in your power and your vigor. So let's go back actually really quickly. I do want to learn this game as I'm playing. Durability is health and balance. I don't know what balance is. I don't know if that's just uh, kind of defense against being knocked over. Engineer increases armor, effectiveness of, uh, effectiveness of all chemical afflictions, and the chance of finding loot. Makes sense. Power, physical damage and impact, vigor, endurance, and critical damage. And endurance in this case is actually going to be your health, I believe, right? Oh, no, it's not. There actually is a health. Oh, endurance is your stamina. Excuse me. Then we have Dancer. So the little bit of testing I played for about half an hour earlier today, uh, I took this. I liked it. I don't know that I'm actually going to go through the playthrough with it, but it comes with armored fans, which can block. Uh, the problem with the block is you're stuck. You're stationary, at least with this item. So I would like to be able to just hold it, but pretty much you just put it out and you just sit there. And then flame grenade, which can ignite an enemy. Uh, the stats that are increased with the dancer are agility, which is immobilization damage and physical damage, and then vigor, which is endurance and critical damage, which is really nice. And then lastly, we have the alchemist, which come with glass core batons. I think this is what I want to go with. Light weapon, special move. Weapon is infused with frost for a few seconds. And then there's alchemical resistance vial, which can neutralize enemy alchemical attacks. The stats this one starts with, this class is al elemental alchemy, which increases alchemical damage and resistance and engineering, which we saw previously as well. I think that's what I want to go with. I think that sounds pretty cool. Those weapons just look really neat. Uh, you do get access to these weapons pretty quickly. You can just buy them. I think they cost about 1500 anima essence, which is not too bad. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to go with this one. It doesn't look like there's any stats that uh, actually are required before you use certain weapons. So that's nice. You can actually change pretty quickly from what from what I can tell. This machine that is now somehow able to speak and understand what we say to it. C'est terrible. Yes, but it is loyal to you. That's all that matters. If it managed to escape the chateau, it could be your eyes and ears in Paris. And if, perchance, the other automats were to go after it? You won't attempt anything foolish. I cannot lose you, Gabrielle. Not now. Aegis? Madame. The king must be stopped. The very kingdom is at stake. Go and find Vaucanson at his workshop. Ni les invalides. He surely holds the secret to these tireless automats. And perhaps he will know something about the death of my son. How am I to leave the chateau grounds, madame? Go to the riverbank at the far side of the grounds. From there, you can take a boat to Paris. You wanted to find Vaucanson? Vraiment? What if he is the one who is responsible for this unrest? What Vaucanson has done, ma chère, only Vaucanson can undo. I like the setup. I actually like the setup that we are just a bodyguard. And I keep saying animatronic, but I guess automaton is what this game is uh, trying to get us to use. So before we get into the actual gameplay, of course, let's stop and take a look at what we start with. Uh, make sure the game is running. It's, like I said, it's got some performance that definitely needs to be ironed out, but hopefully it's not too, too bad on the recording. So we have the glass core batons. So the special move is Invocation of Ice. These batons are infused with elemental properties and deal powerful frost attacks. Uh, it costs two, I believe these are called, um, oh gosh, alchemy infusions or vials, something like that. It will be collecting them pretty quickly. Um, infusion lasts for 40 seconds. It gives 18 infusion damage. So you can see here, pretty standard, and it does have the letter scaling that we're all familiar with. It scales with power, agility, and alchemy, a power and al alchemy most of all. You can upgrade these, of course. 
Uh, so that's just that weapon. As far as armor goes, it does look like maybe your class does start with different armor. No hat just yet. So page library. Is it library? It's livery, right? Oh, goodness. I'm going to ruin so many words. When Aegis was appointed as the Queen's bodyguard, she was given the ceremonial dress worn by pages in the Queen's household. Because of their unique structure and the materials used to make them, the clothing and accessories designed for Aegis's exclusive use increase her mobility and protect her from ordinary or alchemical attacks. So I think I think this is actually unique. We're not going to read everything, by the way, just to uh, take a look. We do have two weapon slots. We just have the one weapon for now, so nothing... Uh, too big a deal there right now we have oil barrettes this is our heel the day Aegis was assigned to the queen as a bodyguard she was given this metal receptacle containing a precious restorative oil I like that as an automaton we're gonna use oil to actually heal ourselves uh, just reminds me of Wizard of Oz now powered by unlimited energy she can use it to repair damage received in battle the burette refills automatically when a vessel has been activated as in essence this is our, our bonfire if you will the uh, Vestals. Alchemical resistance vial. This is what I started with. This is kind of my gift, if you will. When applied to an automat, this substance neutralizes all alchemical damage for a brief period of time. These fluids, essential to the functioning and maintenance of the mechanical army soldiers, were formulated and produced by Antoine oh gosh, Lavoisier on commission from the Academy Royale des Sciences. <laughs> oh, Dear French people, I'm so sorry. Working tirelessly in his laboratory, he was unaware of the sinister purposes for which these substances would be used. And then the disassembly token, think of this as a dark sign, right? So we're going to go back to the last vestal or carriage, but we're going to lose all of our anime es anima essence. I'm going to put on the oil burette. I'm also going to put on the alchemical resistance. I don't have any quest items or materials. Then we have modules, kind of like a ring system here. So we only have one slot available now. We can unlock these and upgrade these. So this is just a level one, so it can only hold these level one modules. Right now I have the efficient ventilation module, which reduces the internal damage caused by rapid cooling. We'll, we're going to see rapid cooling here in just a little bit. We're going to get a tutorial, so we won't actually spend much time on that at all. Uh, lots of entries in the journal, it seems. Um, probably not going to be reading these just yet if i find that the story is really interesting maybe i'll get into it but for now we kind of know what we uh, need to find in fact it looks like this is just the cutscene written out okay that is good to know uh side quests in memory of the dolphin okay so we're still just trying to find uh vakinson no echoes no notes uh codex so you can read a little bit about all the main characters. Wow, here we go. You have Louis the Sixteenth, Marie Antoinette, Charlotte, and the Petit Dauphin. Gabrielle. Yeah, a lot of information here. It's pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive. I'm not going to spend all my time reading all this. We would just be here for a long time. You can actually read all of the guides we're going to get through tutorials here in just a little bit. I'm going to let the tutorials play out simply because I'm still learning the game myself, of course. Oh, and then we do have a map. Um, Wowza looks looks big and looks busy and then of course our stats right here okay pretty expensive to start leveling up but at least it's not too overly complicated with just the number of stats so i just used a burette like a goofball here is our first enemy of course very very basics we have light attack and there's our dodge Okay, he's dead. What do we get? So quick access belt. We've already actually utilized that. Great. I've already set it up. Thank you, game. Uh, alchemical capsule. That's what I was actually trying to say. That is down in the bottom left. You can see next to my batons, I have those five dots. I believe they're blue. And then under that, the number 47. That's how many of those infusions I have. Did I just collect 47? That seems very high. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. So you can just do different sorts. I haven't found a way to actually see those infusions anywhere other than just the number down on the bottom left. We can jump. And th with that does come some jump attacks, which are actually pretty fun to use. 
but it also does, you know, give a little bit for exploration. Okay, so special moves. Now we're talking about actually using alchemical capsules to infuse my weapon. So let's uh, let's go ahead and try that. All right, now we're going to talk about afflictions. Just like her enemy's weapons, Aegis's own weapons can cause alchemical damage when she uses alchemical capsules for each such attack. Alchemical damage fills a gauge, which when full triggers an affliction, which lasts till the gauge is depleted. So there's flame, which causes continuous damage. Makes sense. Oh, but if we actually become on fire, we can extinguish it by dodging. I didn't know that. And when I was playing earlier, I, I, I did catch fire and I didn't uh, know that. Frost affliction freezes the target. We can thaw by just attacking. And then fulmination electrocutes, causing additional damage with each hit. And we would need to use an insulation elixir in order to avoid that. All right, let's get up there. So if we can freeze him, I think we're actually going to kill him first. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, fun time to get a tutorial. And by the way, that little slideshow in the tutorial, that is how it looks on my screen as well. You can see my my endurance bar is flashing red right now. That's because I've actually gone into negative endurance. This game actually takes negative stamina to another level. There's a real penalty here in that I can't perform any action, but if I use rapid cooling, I can get that stamina or that endurance back, but it's going to cost me. Actions consume endurance. When Aegis runs out of endurance, her gears overheat and she can no longer perform the following actions. Attack, jump, dodge, sprint. When overheated, you can trigger rapid cooling, which can instantly restore an amount of endurance depending on your timing. It reminds me of using the uh, the key pulse, I think is what it was called in Neo. However, this inflicts a certain amount of frost damage as shown in the following gate. So if you do too often, you'll actually get frozen. So there it is. You can see the uh, frost kind of building up a little bit on my, my automaton. Okay, there we go. Got some alchemical capsules back. Oh, you can actually see there's a timer counting down on my weapon. That's interesting. I kind of like that they they let you know instead of just a little bar that's depleting. It is running a little bit poorly. Next episode, I might bump it down just a little bit. Okay. I would love to actually freeze you, but... I don't know if that's going to happen, considering... Yeah, I'm just killing him too quickly. Essence of Lesser Spirit. I haven't actually taken a look at that. We'll see that in a moment. It's probably, if I had to guess, just some sort of anima essence kind of consumable. Alright, attack. And attack. Very basic enemies here. More alchemical capsules. Good, good. And there is a charged R2, so let's actually see if we can't get that off. That's pretty cool. Almost got the, the freeze on him. Yeah, lots and lots of these alchemical capsules. Not too difficult to come by. There is a sneak attack. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it on this individual. Let me see if I can get around the back. There's a tutorial for it coming. Oh, I did. As soon as that reticle turns red... You can do this awesome sneak attack, which actually involves that kick. I love it. There's a rusty key for the gate. All right. And another essence. Yeah, let's take a look at that. So that is artificial alchemical essence in the form of a bomb provides a tiny amount of anima essence. Yes. Okay. Ooh, work of a dark necromancer. These spirit essences provide the automats they are administered to with an obscure and unknown energy drawn from the souls of the deceased. Anima essence. Oh boy, I never, I never read that. So that actually means that the anima essence we're collecting, and the reason the automats are able to, I guess, move and have a consciousness, is because we're using the souls of uh, fallen enemies. There is our first vestal point of rest here. Uh, can I actually attack these bags now? But what, what else do we have? Watch it. Okay, nice quick death. Good, good. And these barrels look suspicious. Sure enough, what do we got? Ordinary oil vial. 
slow-acting alchemical distillate. This ordinary oil repairs a small amount of non-structural damage. Oh, okay. So this is actually another heal. My burette is one that will, will actually replenish every time I'm at a Vestal, whereas those oil contain... Oh, didn't get that. Those oil items that I find will be just consumed on use. Activating Vestals. We can upgrade our attributes, we can upgrade equipment, we can obtain equipment. And we'll take a look at that as soon as we actually get here to the Vestal. Gotta activate it. And then we'll use it. And we don't have enough to really do anything, but here's the upgrade, just like the stats screen. Uh, you can see right now it's going to cost us 1,000 to improve any of these one stats. There's six of them, currently level six. And as you highlight them, it does show you exactly what does get improved when you upgrade that particular stat. So no idea what build I'm going to go for right now. There's also the module slots, though. You can see slot A we have unlocked. That's why we actually already have that one rapid cooling efficiency module installed. If we wanted to bump that up, however, to a level two to use bigger slash better modules, I need three keys, module keys. But to unlock the rest of these, it only requires one key each. So if I get three keys, I could either upgrade this or I could unlock all three of these to use four level one modules, which is probably what I'm going to do at first at least. Uh, then we can upgrade our weapons, but I need both Anima Essence and Bronze, bronze ing, uh, Ingots. I haven't actually find, found any of those yet. And then the Burette. So if we have Lavoisier Catalyst, I can increase the number of doses. Or if I have Lavoisier sublim Sublimators, I can increase how much health is being restored. There we go. Then we also have the Boutique. So in the Boutique, we can buy stuff. It is limited, though, and I don't know how often these will replenish or at all. So you can see here the pyramid of six dots kind of on the left there next to alchemical capsules. That's how many the boutique has. The symbol next to it, the little ghosty wisp thing that you can also see on the top left, that's how much it costs. That's the animal essence. So I can buy 100 alchemical capsules. Each one costs me 30. Then we have essence of a lesser spirit. This would be a nice way to kind of bank your XP. It's kind of like uh, buying the gold bags in Sekido, so you don't lose it upon death. Explosive grenades, ordinary oil vials, granite cobblestones. Um, oh, these can be thrown at enemies. Oh, that's cool. I always like things that will help me to get enemies' attention. Then insulation elixir, we learned that that would be to uh, negate electro electrocution damage. Fulmination resistance, so that's going to increase our fire resistance. Frost resist... Oh, no, fulmination is electri electricity again. Frost resistance, flame resistance, there we go. Okay. We can sell items, so I could sell those Essence of a Lesser Spirit. I don't know if they're actually worth 250 I would imagine that they are, uh, but I'm going to hold on to them for now. And let's see, so purchase. Let's see. Oh, okay, so we do actually have some other. That's the quick access belt. Equipment, here's where you can buy all the starting weapons. I started with the, the glass core batons, but the body of war... Gibrovel, oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Halberd, the armored fans, all of them are going to cost 1500 if you want to try them out. There are some modules. So, Will to Live, it increases the Aegis's armor and balance when the health is at the lowest, and then the Avarice slightly increases the amount of anima, each costs 500. I would imagine if this is even 10%, that's a pretty good increase for only 500 anima. I, I will probably pick that up. And then there's no materials to purchase. Lastly, the equipment. So the equipment here, I mean, really, you can just equip yourself just like you can out in the field. There's no real reason to do it here versus anywhere else, but you have the option. Okay, so that's the Vestal. Let's move right along. Oh, somehow missed. Not going to worry about actually buffing, considering I'm not, uh, not really freezing them because I'm killing them too quickly. Okay, we have left and right. Ooh, let's see if we can't get a sneak attack on this one. Oh, just kidding. Oh, finally you had a combo. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, that was because I ran out of endurance. I wasn't sure why I just glowed like that, but now I do. It's <laughs> I ran out. That is okay. Okay, so some of these boxes can be destroyed and some can't. 
That'll be interesting to kind of figure out over time. Can I get the sneak attack? Yes, I can. You can actually do sneak attacks from pretty far away, which is nice. You have... Oh, you got two. All right. Okay, so actually that flash is some sort of combo, it seems. We back up. So what I'm doing there was actually a light attack into a heavy attack. Alright, one or two more hits on both of you. Except I'm missing. Alright, not, not too bad. We could heal. Maybe I even should, I'm not sure. Okay, looks fairly safe. Oh, we got a treasure chest. And what do we get? We get... Ugh. Pol... Poliniac? I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't know. That's the wrong button. So we now have a hat. Once reserved for gentlemen, this ancient regime tricorn is now only worn by ladies of the highest... Arista... Arista... <laughs> Aristocracy. I've said that word. I know that word. Okay. That gives me a little bit of balance, flame resistance, and full uh, fulmination resistance. Not to mention, looks pretty cool. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, explosive grenades. Let's uh, let's get those on our hot bar, right? So this can can't this knock them down? Significant physical damage on a single target. All right. Let's put that on. And I guess I might as well rest, right? I assume that's going to restore my health. It does. Great. And I nearly have enough to level up. In fact, I could probably. Let's do it. Let's actually use these. Let's see how much I get. Is it going to be 250? It is 250. That's great. And now I can level up. I think I want to probably go for a little bit of health just to be safe. So my health is going to be based on what? Okay. Durability. Durability, it'll go up 20 points. What else does durability give me? A little bit of balance. Let's do that. Might as well. And now it costs 1,030. That should be okay. Curious. It does not have the quick select feature. Like in some other kind of Souls-like game. Oh, wait a minute. Did you see that? I don't know if you saw that. But he had his reticle turn red while I was in the air. So maybe there's actually jumping sneak attacks. That could be really cool. Oh, hi. You want to do a combo? Did not mean for... Oh, three. Whoopsies. Okay, you're dead. I don't want explosive grenades. I want my burettes. There we go. Oh, I'm hurting. Oh. Got that. Stamina back. So there is a small window you can see in order to use the rapid cooling. And if you miss it, you're just gonna kinda miss out on some uh, some free stamina, but you still take that cooling damage. All right, barrels, what are you hiding? You are hiding, oh good, ordinary oil vials. Good for healing, how many of those do I have now? I have three of those, great. Probably use those if I get in danger, but for now we'll just do oil barrette. I don't know if one heals more than the other. I would imagine the burette does. Oh, you're, you're big. This door doesn't open either. I think this is going to be the stealth tutorial. Yes. Okay, slowly wait for that to turn red. I, I just love that. I hope that there's other moves you can do because that's, that's really fun. Uh, all right, I've got the one enemy patrolling there. Oh, dead body over there. Granite co Oh, hey, granite cobblestone. Okay, so that's what we can use to throw. There's no crouch that I have found. But if I get this right, I think I'll be able to sneak up on you, right? Yeah. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, and actually something's, yeah, something's smoking over here. And what do we have? We have, oh, a new longevity module. 
Okay, so let's take a look and see. So efficient ventilation, it reduces the frost damage. This one increases health by another 20. I will take that. We'll have to see just how much that hurts my rapid cooling, but... Oh, you know what? I didn't check the body to see. Was there any interaction whatsoever? Mm, no. I can only imagine it's the uh, automats that killed him. Ooh, very foggy in there. Ooh, more ordinary oil vials. Great. Yeah, is this going to hurt me? I shouldn't be poisoned. That doesn't make sense for a robot. <laughs> The Swiss Guard, killed by the automats that replaced them. Yeah, that's a lot of bodies. Something kind of shimmering over there. Oh, got a shiny and we have a vessel though. Oh, bloody note. Captain Dick Rose, Governor Daffrey, confirms that no command was given to replace your company with a detachment of automats. automats. I therefore urge you until further notice to keep your distance from these machines and to inform me of any signs of hostility. Do not engage unless Her Majesty the Queen is in danger. Reinforcements are en route. Lieutenant Colonel de Bachman, second in command of the Place de Saint de Saint Clave. So these guys apparently didn't necessarily uh, listen. Okay. Oh, defeat the unstable automat to activate the Vestal. That's probably what that is. So I can't activate, oh, it's actually even tied down. Hmm. I'm going to try an ordinary oil vial. Oh, it, it heals over time. Okay. This is going to be a mini boss. Unstable Lancer, or maybe just the boss. Whoa, 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 whoa. It looks like he also has range, so I got to be careful here. Looks like his arm is a cannon back up. Oh, but if I can freeze him, that would be great. Watch it. Almost got him. Almost got him frozen, at least. Watch my uh, endurance. Okay, back up. Not so bad. He's pretty slow. Oh, we actually froze him. Oh, that was great. Wow, he's still frozen. Look at the moves. That is cool. Back up. How about a little uh, explosive? Oh, that's good damage. I missed. <laughs> that was excellent damage, though. Oh, nice kick. <laughs> okay, so the glow is actually not from a combo. Ooh, ow. N not from a combo that I was doing. It's actually just from the heavy attack itself. Do I want to put Frost on again? I don't think so. Back up. We almost got him. He's not too bad. Oh, <laughs> except when I don't dodge out of the way. Okay, back up, back up. Watch it. How about a jump attack? Hey, oh, we got him. Nice. And what do we get from you? A module key. So as we saw just a moment ago, the module key. Oh, there are enemies in here. I was wondering why I was seeing another health bar. Module key should allow me to actually use two modules, which is uh, really helpful. Back up. Oh, rapid cooling or uh, out. We have the vessel here, so I'm not really too worried. Except my endurance is a problem. Oh, module keys. What a weird time to suddenly tell me about it. The slots. Yeah, I, I already know all about that. I've, I've even explained that. So, why is why is my anima essence on fire? Does that just mean I have enough to level, I suppose? Uh, here's what we're actually going to do. We're going to use the rest of these because I want to do two things here. I want to level up. I don't know. I'm intrigued by the game. I, you can let me know down in the comments how you're feeling, but definitely want to level up again. I don't think I'll do health this time. Let's just go for damage. So agility. That doesn't actually look like it's going to change the damage. My power will. And that'll change my impact. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do power. 
and we're going to unlock another module slot. So now I can use two, which is nice. I don't have to actually change. Uh, but then I want to go to the boutique. And I was going to buy a module. That's what it was. I was going to buy the Avarice. Yeah, I want to buy that. And then we can... So I like the longevity, and then I'm going to put on the Avarice to see how much we get out of that. All right. Nothing in this building. Oh, another automatic. Can I sneak around you? I sure can. So that's 74. I actually don't know what I was getting. I'd have to take that off. Oh, there is an item over here, though. I do have a sprint. I haven't really been using it too much, but there is a sprint option. Insulation elixir. Ooh, should probably have that on my hotbar, huh? In fact, let's do this. Let's get rid of... Ooh, how do I... How do I take something off just like that? Okay. We'll do the insulation elixir right there. I'll even put the cobblestone on. Why not? Ooh, another chest too. And what do we have here? We have a, a Charl Charleville? Charleville? 1789 shield musket. Oh, a shield musket. I guess I'll be okay with that. So this is, yeah, an actual musket that deals frost damage. So it pairs well with my batons. It can also become a shield. It is protect and only feels the impact from enemy attacks. 60 damage. Okay, and switch is up on the D-pad. It's just on my arm. Oh, that's great. Love that. Well, let's uh, let's test it out here. Do I still have a light and heavy attack? Here's a... Let's see. Here's a light attack. Okay. And here's a heavy. Oh. Seems like that is more of a shotgun blast. Oh, and he's frozen. Okay. I am okay with that. That's pretty cool. I like it. It was using, it was kind of hard to notice because it happened so quickly. It was using the alchemical infusions pretty quickly. Uh, now, is this... That's where I've already been. So no need to go back there, right? I went under that bridge prior. Okay, tell me I can sprint. Here's some carriage tracks. I don't know. Whoop. I don't know what I just got stuck on. Maybe a loading screen? So this is the lantern. You're all going in here, but it's blocked. I wouldn't say that that's so much blocked. Okay, let's see if we can freeze this guy with a little little blast here. Wow, yes, one shot actually freezes him. Excellent. All right. That's pretty cool. I like the frost. And what do we have here? Oh, a musket and bicorn and a musket and coat. Oh, I like the tricorn, though. Well, let's see what the, the difference is. So I lose balance and flame, but I gain endurance. Endurance is kind of nice. Also, way more armor. Way more armor. So that might be better better trade-off. It's not as, not as cool. The muscadins flamboyant young royalists wore the bicorn in battle while hunting down those they suspect of supporting third estate ideology. Okay, and what about the musket and coat? Ooh, much higher endurance, some fulmination resistance, and better armor. Yeah, we're going to go with that. I lose all flame resistance at that point. That's looking pretty cool, though. Oh, little worm thing, couple of blades. Oh, you're fire, you're fire. That must mean that you're weak to frost, though, right? So let's uh, go ahead and buff. If you do that flame breath again, though, I can probably get around you. There we go. Oh. Oh, I'm on fire. I gotta dodge. Oh, wow. That actually goes away very quickly if you dodge. That's cool. Okay. Dodge. To get rid of... Oh, it's actually not impact. Wow. So, I don't know if you noticed that, but when I did my rapid cooling, I took a lot of frost buildup. A lot of frost buildup. 
So that's a little scary. So that that module is pretty useful. Can you you can well you can kind of get up there. I don't really think you're intended to. Um yep, there's another one. I thought I heard a second one. Attack. Oh, of course you had a combo. Back up. Combo. Attack, please. Okay, easy enough. I mean, some of the moves are pretty fun. It's got to be said, some of them are really fun. And it looks like another one of those worm snake thingy. I wonder if there's any way to sneak up on you. You're kind of patrolling pretty quickly, so I doubt it. In fact, you're probably going to turn around and see me right here, right? Quick, 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 before he notices. There's no sort of indication that they see you. Uh, except, you know, I think you get a little audible cue, but, I'm, you know, it's not like Skyrim where you're in stealth and then it, it shows an eye symbol. So let's let's wait till he starts patrolling back. And then maybe I can make this happen. You automatically go into this kind of crouch state. Oh, that did not kill you, though. Oh, you, so you do actually have a little bit of melee in you. Okay, treasure, and something looks like I can climb here. Nemesis claws and a compass. Ooh, you've just acquired a compass. You can assign the compass to the quick access so that you can use it at any time to see the way to your destination. I like that, so it's not always up, but it's something you can put on. Well, let's do that. Let's, uh... Since I don't have any more of those, we'll put it there. But then I also got a new weapon. Nemesis Claw. Oh, a little bit less damage. It's got a B in agility. Any parry that is timed just right reverses the effect of the enemy's attack and deals physical. So you can parry with this. That's the special move. I will try that out. So that's a parry. Okay, and then how does the compass work? The riverbank is just beyond this wood. Okay. I'm not upset about that. Kind of like in Ghost of Tsushima when you can use the, the winds to kind of guide you. A call to workers. Comrades. Companions. In the name of the nation, our honor demands that we stop our work. The king threatens to send his foreign regiments into the capital. Shall we continue to build a vain lantern while our brothers are slaughtered four leagues from St. Cloud? The time has come to put down our tools and take up arms to Paris. Equality or death, freedom will recognize its own. Citizen, Purell, Mason, and Patriot. So I guess I don't know what a lantern is. Because I'm in an area known as the lantern. But it's not what I thought. So any of you historian uh, buffs or just you know someone with a basic idea of linguistics want to fill me in, that would be great. Alright, what else do we have? What is that? There's a light up there. It looks... It looks as though it's a contraption I should be able to jump to or grapple onto. There's no double jump, though. I can't target it. Can I shoot it? No, I can't shoot that high. Right? And there's no manual aim. No. Maybe I need a skill. Maybe there or a tool, like a grapple, that I would need in order to use that. That's that's the assumption I'm gonna make. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can't get a parry down. That'd be pretty cool. Oh boy. Oh hey, a new area, the forest and a new vestal, which is really nice. Don't have enough to do anything with it. I could buy the new, the other module, but I don't know that I really care about the new module. All right, we'll just rest. Now let's see if we can't parry one of these basic automats here. Although you've got your back turned towards me, so we'll take care of you. Oh. Uh, I like frost damage for you, though. Oh, I can shoot you. Back up. 
And almost frozen. There we go. Okay, the charge attack on the claws is really awesome. So, some performance issues, a little bit of jank, but I have to say, there's some interesting mechanics at play, and I that's one of the things that really sell me on new... Ooh, is there a drop attack? That didn't seem to... Oh, let's try a parry. That worked. That seems like a really generous window because I'm not good at parry. But I just got that first try. Ooh, that's body of an automat. What did I get? Oh, there we go. Oh, module key. Ooh, that's a really good get. Can I use that at any time? I actually don't know. No. I have to do that while I'm at a Vestal, which I have one nearby. Maybe we'll try to push on for one more. There's a bag in the tree there. Ooh. That looks like the boss that I just fought. The unstable automat. Okay, yep, you come here. I'm just gonna shoot you. Oh, wow, that was cool. I have to play around with these more. So that was actually some sort of dodge attack with the gun. All right. So what's the dodge with the claws? Something really cool. Can I maybe attack the bag? Oh, you can. There's actually stuff in That's awesome. Fulmination resistance. I definitely want to go up there and take those enemies on but first. More insulation elixirs. Okay, let's try another parry then. That's not difficult to pull off. Oh, another one. Oh, it's one of you. Go around. Nice. Oh, that's so cool. Love it. Love it. That is pretty fun. I'm having a good time. It's got to be said. It doesn't have to be said, but I choose... Ooh, treasure. I choose to say it. Falchion and Saber. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Blade Tornado. By using the Sword and Falchion in combination, Aegis can perform a spinning attack that delivers a flurry of hits. Really good damage. Power affinity. Weight is medium. I don't know what mate, the weight actually matters. Really good impact. Let's look, We'll try it out. Yeah, I'm not sure. Is there even a spot to look at weight on the status screen? It doesn't look like it. Oh, that's cool. You can actually swap between weapon A and B to see what the, uh, the attacks are. Okay. I dig it. I dig it a lot. Can I open this door? No. Ha! <laughs> I love that there's actually stuff in the bags. Oh, you know what I need to do here is... Because I think there's at least two, right? Yeah. We're going to pull the big guy. All... Well, we pulled him. <laughs> I was going to say, or what we could do is actually try and get a sneak attack on him. Yeah, this does look like the same enemy. I really want to try the special. Oh, except it leaves me wide open. Okay, let's use an ordinary oil vial. Oh, yep, there's his there's his range weapon. That was absurd. Wow. Back up. Oh, nice catch. Nice catch. Yeah, so I believe that the Enema Essence will glow like that when you have enough for a level up. Which, you know, I appreciate. Oh. Um. I guess just bark coming off the tree? I guess that's what that's trying to show off. Um. Interesting that I didn't get any you know, sort of sneak attack for that, it seemed. 
Also, is this a chair that went down into a well? What is this contraption? Okay, historians, let me know uh, what that's about. That seems horrifying. Is this... Ooh. Blocked. Is that guy just, just do do dooting around? They are! Look at them. They're just having a great time. Okay, got to find my way in there. All right, let's see if we can't find another Vestal because we do have to wrap up here in just a moment. But uh, my initial thoughts, yeah, it's fun. Other than a little bit of, of jank and performance issues, which could be ironed out in some, you know, day one patches or just upcoming patches, it's fun. It's interesting. And I kind of like the setup that, you know, I'm really and truly no one. I'm not even a person. I am simply just a, a bodyguard for the queen. Okay, so I'm supposed to take a boat to Paris. The pier. Oh, what's going to happen? This boat will take me to Paris. She said to herself. There's the big guy. Ooh, all right. Uh, you know what I didn't test is, is there a pause? Yes. No, there is not. No, there's not. Unstable lightning ram. I didn't, uh, didn't prepare for this. Because I don't actually have. Wow. Okay, not too bad damage wise if I can get my special off that would be amazing if I can freeze him though okay that's what we're gonna do we're gonna freeze him he seems weak to freeze and then we're gonna do our big special back up that worked really really well oh that's cool but now I just freeze him again which okay I mean, why not? It works. Back up. You do your thing, pal. There we go. Frozen again. <laughs> Back up. Yeah. I'm just gonna... It works. Why wouldn't I? Uh-oh. He, he hits pretty hard, though, so don't actually get hit. But I could probably avoid that. How about a little charge? That was really good, too. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do a quick heal. Just because I, I want to try to fight this guy without just constantly freezing him. Back up. Okay. How about a... Heavy combo. And we finish him off. Nice. Good fight. And lots of anima for it. We got another module key and a grade 2 stable charging module. Need a tool to break this. What tool do I need to break this? Hmm. Well, we have a lot of anima. We got another module key. That's uh, That means we have two. That's blocked. I, we must be returning here at some point. Because there's a few areas I can't get into yet. Nope. There we go. Take the Essence of Lesser Spirit. Why not? Nothing else, though? How about where you just came from in here? Aha. Yep. Oh, Explode Screw. Oh, that would have been good in that fight. Okay. Not too bad. These are early bosses, though, but if everything's going to be weak to freeze, that's going to make this uh, a lot easier. <laughs> that's for sure. So you've said. Okay, well then, uh, let's go to Paris. Les 
Invalides? In invalid? Is that this is supposed to be like the invalids? Is this where all the sick people are? I don't know what was really happening in France in the 1700s. Other than what I, again, looked up during that one cutscene. Okay, we need a Vestal though, because we have to wrap up. Grow Caillou? Gross Caillou? See, I don't know what, what, you know, letters are actually pronounced and which ones are not. Uh, oh, there is a shiny over there. I'm going. I don't think I want to go in the water as an automat, but... Ooh, frost grenades. Frost seems just crazy good. But then again, you know, we'll come across some that are very tough against it, I hope. It's got to be a Vestal right away, though, right? Nice and quick-like. Like, just right inside this little courtyard. Please. That would be nice. More frost grenades. That That's all well and good, but I want to rest up. Immobilization. My light weapons are able to inflict immobilization damage as shown in the immobilization gauge. When the gauge is filled, the enemy is temporarily immobilized, leaving them open to critical. Oh, there's an Aegis. Oh, but why did I just get that now? That's odd. That is odd. All right, perfect. Well, now that we've found a vessel, this has been just the first part of my Seal Rising playthrough. I do intend on making this whole series. And again, the goal, as I said at the beginning, is this will run concurrently with Hollow Knight while I work on other things in the background. Okay, keep it in mind. So this would be kind of the 8 a.m. time slot. Hollow Knight will be 10 a.m. This is, of course, on Eastern Standard Time. Uh, but we will spend our points next time thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you get a chance to take a look at steel rising uh first off i got this code directly from the developer and publisher so spider and nakon thank you so much for the copy um however my partners at both green man gaming and games planet uh, are also running some special so i'll make sure you have links to those sites down below where you can save yourself some money and help support the channel if you wish even put it in a pinned comment thanks so much for watching and i will see you <laughs> next time.